midway through 2014, we were introduced to one of the biggest new breakout stars of pop music, 20-year-old Megan Trainer, who instantly made headlines with her body image positivity message song, All About That Bass. This was a huge hit, but it was also surprisingly controversial. To put it in a nutshell, she was tackling a very feminist subject in a not very feminist way. Not to mention a topic which, when handled badly, can be very hurtful to a lot of people. So that led to a lot of widely varied responses from people trying to analyze it. <sighs> think pieces. Think pieces everywhere. Because of that, when I did my review of it, I tried to be as sensitive as I could be while being as honest as possible about what I felt about the song. I did my best, but I'll be straight with you guys. I think I blew it. Look, I was walking on eggshells. It was so touchy. Plus, I was just lukewarm on the song, which meant I didn't have much of an axe to grind one way or the other, and I just feel like that review wasn't as sharp as it should have been. Since then, my thoughts on the song have evolved considerably, and yeah, being honest, the reason this episode exists is because I want to do over. So, there you go. We're starting fresh here. Starting from scratch. Everything I said in that last review, just erase it. This is my review of All About That Bass. This song blows! I never want to hear this goddamn song ever again. I would rather fill my sinuses with venomous scorpions before I ever had to listen to this again. Yes, the fact that Megan Trainor made her body positivity song about what guys like was one of the worst ideas any artist has ever had and not for any reasons of political correctness or anything, no, no, no. It's because she doesn't have a goddamn clue what she's talking about. Ladies, are you seriously gonna take advice on what guys like from someone who calls their ass their boom boom? If I wanna know what boys like, I'm not gonna ask someone who sounds like she's never dated anything but her Zac Efron poster. This is not an authority on how to attract a man. Megan Trainor is the real-life equivalent of Tina Belcher confidently asserting that her sexy dance moves will bring all the boys to the yard. Come on, Jimmy Jr. Let's get back to work. And my opinion of her has not improved with any of her subsequent singles. I will respectfully disagree. Oh yeah, she is, in fact, pretty young, but that's not an excuse. She is roughly the same age as Adele when she started, and considerably older than Taylor Swift when she started, and never did those two sound like they were talking about things they hadn't experienced. Maybe in real life Megan Trainor is swimming in dudes, I, I don't know, but she sure isn't able to project it on record. She's annoying the same way that Justin Bieber was annoying five years ago. Too young, too cocky, and not enough charisma to back it up. Listening to her sing, that booty booty, is exactly as annoying as Bieber singing shoddy shoddy. trying to make bass happen. Also, was I gave you ass really what you wanted to say there? And that brings us to her latest single, Dear Future Husband. And where the deep thinkers of our time were divided on the merits of All About That Bass, they were pretty unanimously against this one. And it's not hard to see why. Like, you know how Megan Trainor style to sound retro, old school, like it came straight from 1961? Well, this one definitely sounds like that complete with a 60 years out of date understanding of gender roles. Look, this is already starting to get too political. Like, just, let me just try and explain on a purely aesthetic level why my ears hate this. Okay, first off, the title. Dear Future Husband. Dear Future Husband. Already the song is poison for me. Writing letters to your imaginary husband is so middle school. Hello, my future girlfriend. This is what I sound like. This song could have been called Dear Spongebob and it would sound less childish. But, yeah, moving on. Dear future husband, here's a few things you need to know if you wanna be my one and only. Oh. Yeah, that's a pretty big if. As I mentioned in the last review, I am at best partially about that bass. But, let's say that I am. Future husband could be anyone, let's assume it's me. Maybe you're into broke, jobless guys who spend most of their day watching pirated episodes of Adventure Time. I'm your future husband. It's funny, because I have no future. <laughs> well, anyway, what do I need to know? Oh good, I'm not a 
rhyme button still works. I'm sorry, you were saying... In a versal way, cause if you treat me right, I'll be the perfect life. Buying groceries, buying, buying what you need. What? I'll be the perfect life. Buying groceries, buying, buying what you need. You okay, got I'm confused. I mean, yeah, I like having a stocked fridge, but I can't say I thought one of the benefits of married life was someone else to buy groceries for me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a grown man. I can buy my own groceries. It's not hard. I prefer doing it myself, actually. I know what I want to eat better than anyone else. That's that's not even, like, in the top 200 on the list of how to be a perfect wife. Where, where did you even get that idea? You got the nine to five, but baby so high. So don't be thinking I'll be home and making up the past. I wasn't? Uh, yeah. Being a rich, famous internet reviewer, I do tend to attract gold diggers who expect me to support them. So I'm glad to know you're not one of the... What are you talking about? You got the nine to five, but baby so high. Oh, so uh, yeah, of course. Of course you have a job. Single income households haven't existed in 40 years. This isn't some new revelation. Who was expecting you to stay home and cook pies? I never learned to cook, but I can find a hook. Sing along with me. Sing, sing along with me. Hey. No. And who said anything about whether or not you could cook? I didn't ask you to cook. Why is this marriage all about food all of a sudden? You sure this song wasn't meant to be called Dear Future Caterer? Alright, wh whatever. You buy the groceries. What are my responsibilities here? Yard work? Okay. Flowers... Compliments... After every fight, just apologize And maybe then I'll let you try and rock my body right Even if I was wrong, you know I'm never wrong but... And hand you my testicles in a box Okay, got it You gotta know how to treat me like a lady Even when I'm acting crazy Tell And of course, tolerate insanity Cause bitches be crazy, am I right? Can't reason them, just let them win Why disagree? Why? God, this marriage isn't even real and I can already feel it sucking away at my soul. I have no idea who this marriage is meant to be attractive to. Being a wife seems to entail mostly housework, and being a husband means kowtowing to her every whim for the hint of sex. You're gonna have to learn to be a lot less high maintenance if you want that future husband to ever stop being future. I mean, I want to make it clear that I don't give a good goddamn whether you cook. Cook. Don't cook. I don't care. Most guys don't. We're guys. I'm happy eating weak old nachos I found behind my desk. I'm just saying, if it's okay that you don't have to cook, how come I still gotta do all the traditional romance stuff and lose every argument? I'll be sleeping on the left side of the bed. Actually, the problem isn't even in the lyrics. It's just trainers singing that perky, spunky, upbeat baby voice delivery and all this retro doo-wop stuff is, is wearing real thin. I mean, I liked Amy Winehouse too and I liked Adele and I like the Hairspray soundtrack. I mean, I, I get why she's popular. In an era of EDM and trap music, it's, it's nice that people still write basic tuneful songs, but she she doesn't do anything with it. It's just this old over perky lyrics and the beat from Run Around Sue. And it's not the gender role stuff either. I mean, Nicki Minaj has a song out that's way less PC than this. Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I do the cleaning. Plus, I keep the nana real sweet for your eating. Yes, yes, you be the boss. And yes, I be respecting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the difference between that and this is that Nicki Minaj is Nicki Minaj. I know she doesn't expect anyone to take this at face value. Like, if I got with Nicki Minaj... I don't know, let's assume I found a genie or something that may be rich and attractive. And then I got with Nicki Minaj, and I told her, I am the boss, and you will respect me. I have no doubt she would kick my ass. Or even here, let's go, let's go more traditional. Yeah, let's take it to country music. And Shania here says pretty much all the same things as Megan Trainor does. I can be late for a date, that's fine, but you better be on time. But I was perfectly fine with Shania because it's all presented with a wink and a smile unless you know she's not being serious. Megan Trainor sounds like she means every word with total sincerity. I'll be sleeping on the left side of the bed. Hey. Open doors for me and you might get some kisses. Don't have a dirty mind. <laughs> we both signed prenups, right? 
and you might get some kisses. Don't have a dirty mind. Look, I don't care if you cook, I don't care if you clean. If I'm gonna marry someone, it's not gonna be someone who thinks that was funny. Who could possibly think of this as domestic bliss? Who would fantasize about this? Do, do girls fantasize about this? I, I don't know. I, I didn't think girls had, like, dream future husband nowadays. I thought it was, like, dream angsty werewolf or something. I don't know. I have no idea. It just didn't occur to me that anyone thought this was what marriage was. I mean, I didn't. And I wasn't raised by hippies or anything. I grew up in the South in a traditional nuclear family with a mom and a dad and a bratty half pint little brother in a house in the suburbs with an actual white picket fence. And my mom does, in fact, cook dinner. We could have been on ABC's TGIF lineup. But her understanding of marriage is something I do not recognize at all. Where was she raised? A town from the Stepford Wives? I don't know, maybe this all makes sense if you're, I don't know, from like a more religious town or you're a character in the first season of Mad Men. But for those of us who got their understanding of relationships outside of hacky stand-up routines, this vision of what marriage is, where the man provides all the flowers and the compliments and women provide the sex, it's, it's just not reality. Guys like romance, too. She left me roses by the stairs. Surprises let me know she cares. See, even the meatheads in Blink-182 knew that. And girls do, in fact, like sex. I don't know that from personal experience, but I understand girls are supposed to be into this, too. It's not just a treat you give the dog when it does tricks. Am, am I overthinking this again? Ah. Uh, I don't know if my perspective means all that much here. I realize this isn't actually meant for any guy anywhere to listen to. I, this isn't meant for men any more than Lil Wayne's latest gross degrading sex jam was meant for women. It's, it, this is it's, it's just a fantasy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, maybe I'm the one that's being too demanding. I'm taking this too literally. It's just supposed to be cute. You know, tee hee, treat me right, buy me flowers. I mean, yeah, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Are you fucking kidding me? Never see your family more what the living hell? Even as a joke, that's psychotic! Who even thinks to demand something like that? You're gonna deliberately restrict access to my family? That's not funny! Who cares whether or not you put out? I consider myself lucky at this point if you don't start attacking me with a coat hanger and boiling rabbits. Forget this. Bachelorhood forever. I'm gonna play video games and eat garbage and not put on pants and <sighs> yeah, maybe married life isn't so bad. Fine, I'm your future husband, Mr. Megan Trainer. All right, let's start the honeymoon. Take me on a date. I deserve a pay. And don't forget. Yes, dear. To ever fight, just apologize. And yes, dear. Why disagree? Why? Why disagree? Yes, dear. Marriage. You know, back when I was in high school, I threw four touchdowns in one game. <sighs> I'm Todd in the shadows, and I'm out.